Today we're going to take this lovely photo and apply a color splash effect. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to learn how to create the color splash effect. If you'd like to follow along with the same image that I'll be using, I've put a download link in the video description. The first thing we need to do to achieve our color splash effect is to apply a black and white adjustment layer. To do this, we'll come to the Adjustment Studio and then select Black and White. Now we're going to come to the Layer Studio and press on the plus button to add a new pixel layer. Now I'm going to select the Gradient tool and click and drag to make a gradient. Right now, our gradient is looking quite dull, so let's give it some bright colors. To do this, we'll come to the Color Studio and then select a nice bright color. Now I'll press on the other gradient stop and give this color stop a bright color as well. Now we'll come back to the Layer Studio and with our pixel layer selected, I'll press on the three circles at the top left. Now I'll change the blend mode from normal to color. I want to show you how the black and white adjustment layer is affecting this picture. To show you this, we'll click on layer options and then turn off and on the black and white adjustment layer. If you want to further change how the black and white adjustment layer is affecting the picture, you can double tap on the black and white adjustment layer and then change any of the settings in the contextual toolbar. For example, you might want to try changing the red, yellow, or magenta. I'm now going to select all of the layers by swiping left on each layer. Now I'm going to put them inside of a group by pressing on the folder icon inside the Layer Studio. Now that we have all of our layers inside one group, we're going to apply an empty mask layer to cover everything up. To do this, I'll press on the mask icon and then select New Empty Mask Layer. Currently, everything is being covered up, but if I press on the brush tool and then begin painting in white, I will reveal parts of the picture again. Our effect is really starting to come along, but it would look much better if we had a different paintbrush. To change our paintbrush, we'll come to the Brushes Studio and then click on the word Painting and select Spray Paints. To give our picture a more interesting effect, I'm going to select the Six Spray Paint Brush. The spray paintbrush we're going to use today is just one of the many paintbrushes inside Affinity Photo. If you'd like to learn how to customize these paintbrushes or import new ones, you can check out our complete beginner course down in the video description where we have an entire chapter dedicated to the paintbrush. Now that we have our spray paintbrush selected, I'm going to close the brush studio and begin painting with the spray paintbrush. By painting in white, we reveal parts of the picture, but if we change our color from white to black, we can hide parts of the picture. By switching your colors between white and black, you can hide and reveal parts of the picture to change the effect to just the way you want. After you're done painting in the effect, you can come back to the Layer Studio and we'll apply a white background by pressing on the plus button and adding a new fill layer. Then we can click and drag this fill layer to the bottom. As a finishing touch, you can press on the group layer inside the Layer Studio, and then we'll come to the Adjustment Studio and apply an HSL adjustment. Now you can change the color of the entire picture by changing the hue slider in the contextual toolbar. You can also change the saturation. Feel free to continue playing around with the hue and saturation sliders until you've given your picture the perfect color splash effect. 
Thanks for watching our color splash tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button or check out one of our other videos over here. Either way, thanks for watching and have fun learning Affinity Photo.